In this tutorial, we are going to be recreating this vintage text effect on the left, where it's pretty simple. It just has a couple striped colored layers and a thick uh, stroke outline added to each layer to give this look. Before we start, you can pick out a font that you like that has the look you're going for that you want to have these these stripes added to it and uh, for the settings I'm going to be using for the tutorial the height of my text is uh, approximately three inches so that'll get you the the settings I'm going to be using will give you kind of this uh, I don't know thickness per layer of these striped colors. So in order to start, select your your font, your object, whatever you're going to be adding these the stripe layers to and come over to the left to the toolbar and you want to select your block shadow tool. And the settings I'm using for each layer is 0.3 inches at a negative 45 degree angle. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of the the extra settings here. They all should be defaulted to what you see. Um, and that will give us the effect we want. So with your uh, object selected, font selected, I want 0.3 inches per, per level, per layer. So once you click that, hit Control K on your keyboard to separate the shadow from the original uh, font text. And I want to apply these, this yellow color. So I'll just click my yellow swatch here, drag over. And once I get my cursor icon to change, I can apply the fill color. And that's essentially the, the process for getting your stripe. So we'll repeat that two more times. So select your font, click your block shadow tool, just click those little arrows to uh, add a new stripe layer. And you'll notice that it's the same length, so we need to increase our distance by another 0.3 inches to 0.6 inches. That will give us the our second layer. So while still selected, hit Control K, and I switch. Uh, you want to deselect and just select your new shadow layer, and we're going to add our orangish red color. I selected the new shadow layer again and hit shift page down on your keyboard to send it all the way to the back. Deselect. Select your font again. Select your block shadow tool. And this time we need to add another 0.3 inches to our last layer, so it would be 0.9 inches. Hit Control K on your keyboard to separate the new shadow from the font. And we want to apply our green, so right click and drag and let go. And hit your fill, select your shadow layer, and hit shift page down to send it all the way to the back. So we have our we have our all our layers set up. Now we need we want to add this thick stroke to give this effect. Right now none of these layers the font doesn't have a stroke applied to it yet neither do any of the, the stripe layers so I'm just going to select all of them and just right click on any color in your swatch panel just to give it a stroke and by default uh, Corel sets it to 0 .0069 inches um, I believe 
this has a stroke of 0 0.06 inches so we'll just reselect everything type in 0 0.06 to get the thickness um, and depending on your the font you selected or object you're applying this effect to you may need to you, you might get a sharp corner and you might want this kind of rounded edge to your your stroke so with everything selected if you hit F12 bring up your outline dialog box and uh, right now nothing is selected in my corners or line caps but if these were defaulted on you would get generally get sharp corners so if you wanted them to be rounded and softened you can switch to these middle two options to round off the, the corners and the caps and just click OK. Next, the last thing we want to do is apply this kind of brownish uh, color to our stroke to give it kind of a, a softer, more vintage and retro look instead of this black, but you can apply any color you want that fits your color scheme. Uh, so I just click the eyedropper tool. I'm going to select our brown color here. Zoom in and just hover over near the edge. And the, the little brown swatch square by the uh, cursor icon will switch to a, an outline look instead of a solid fill. Once that changes, just left click and it changes your color to your eye dropped color uh, and then switch back to your pick tool select everything again and hit control R on the your keyboard to duplicate or repeat your last action which will apply that brown color to all of the, the strokes of everything selected. And so you're left with this retro looking text effect.